Hey, what's up guys, it's Roy here. So today's video is gonna be answering that age old question again, which is better from Kadavi, the sheath or the synthesis case for your iPhone? Now I have my iPhone 14 Pro here. Now I've already done a similar video to this one, but this is a little different because they were kind enough to send out this new color, amethyst, and it's kind of like a purplish color as you can tell by the box. But let's get these bad boys out, slap them on, and do a little kind of a comparison and maybe I can tell you at the end which one I personally prefer, but your opinion might be a little bit different. So let's go ahead and get these out. So I'll start with the sheath. So as you can see here, got a picture of the case here. And like I said, it does say sheath here. Drop tested to two meters or 6.6 .6 feet. So very nice protection, MagSafe compatible and a textured grip, which if this is your first time seeing anything about a Kadabi case. The grip is just nuts with these cases. And then when you lift it up, it reveals the actual case. So we'll get this one out first, get some different type of uh, product cards and stuff like that as far as warranty goes. So let's go and scooch this to the side real quick along with this. And then let's get the synthesis one out. Everything else is exactly the same, same drop tested um, to the 6.6 .6 feet, MagSafe compatible, all that fun stuff. Oh yeah, I forgot to show you the back. That looks kind of cool too. So let's go ahead and get this out here and opening it up reveals the synthesis case. Little different look, but same color and everything. So we'll close that and I'll kind of flip that over. I think it's kind of cool to put that right there. So here are the two cases side by side. So as you can see, there is some distinct differences as far as the back goes. Um, with the synthesis case, it has a little bit more of a kind of larger camera bump housing there, stretches out a little bit further as you can see there, but uh, that's kind of the look of the back with the synthesis. And with the actual sheath case, it's a little bit more minimalist looking, right? So very, very sleek does have a little bit of a lip that does stick up, which is definitely gonna be helpful for that camera bump. But then you can kind of see a little pop of more high gloss right there as well. Now they both have the uh, Kadabi branding there at the bottom, so you can definitely see that there. But like I said, side by side, almost identical in size. Um, and then when you go to the sides here, you can kind of see this is where it starts to differ a little bit. So as you can see here with the sheath, it's a little more generic looking and the whole entire texturized uh, back is flooding over to the side. So as you can see there, but then whenever you go to this side too, it's the same thing. But with the synthesis case, it's a little bit more uh, different in the sense of it does have more of this rugged pattern right here, if the video is gonna helpfully show it there. But you can see that it's a lot more grippier where your fingers tend to hold, but that's not a knock on the sheath because this grip is actually really, really nice on the actual sheath. Now, if you looked at them both inside, you can kind of see a little bit of some differences there. It looks like the MagSafe actual ring is thicker on the sheath versus the synthesis. Um, as you can see there, it's just a little bit thinner. It's black with white lettering. This one's kind of a frosted white with black lettering. They both have Kadabi branding at the bottom, except this one's white, this one's kind of more engraved. And then they both have the same like serial number information and stuff like that. So that way, at least you know, um, you know where it was made, et cetera, et cetera. And they both have very nice interiors that go up against the phone. So no issues at all with that type of stuff. So let's go ahead and slap on the 14 Pro and let's go ahead and do the synthesis first. So putting it on here, very easy install. I'm gonna scooch this to the side. Super easy install, very, very slim fit on the phone. Uh, feels fantastic in the hand, guys. Like, I just love Kadami cases. They're super, super slim, as you can see. Feels very, very nice in the hand. The back is a little bit smoother than the synthesis, but once again, it's still grippy as heck. That camera bump, like I said there, does kind of flatten out a little bit, it widens out. Uh, so maybe that'll help with the uh, wobble test here in just a bit, but definitely got some good lens protection there with that camera bump. The side here, like I said, we've already talked about, got a raised power button. We have some nice, nice grip here at the bottom. Nice cutouts for the ports and the um, speakers. 
And then on this side, kind of the same story, right? Grippy pattern here, raised volume up and down buttons, and then a rectangular cutout for the alert slider. And then that's the top down look as well. And then that's the look, once again, looking at it from the front. So let's get this one off. Taking it off is super, super duper easy. As you can see, I'm just hovering above and able to do it with ease. So let's slap on the sheath. So kind of the same thing. I'll start with the volume side and then push in. And there is the sheath case. Now with the sheath case, which if you say it like 10 times fast, it sounds like you're saying cheesecake. But yeah, the sheath case looks really, really, really premium as well. Just has a little bit of a different texture, just a tiny bit that you can definitely tell the difference when you're sliding your fingers across the back which once again, not a knock on the synthesis. It's just this feels a little bit grippier on the back. And then I do like the little touch of that kind of high gloss little line there. The uh, camera bump is nicely raised as well as far as for the protection. So the lenses are gonna be nicely recessed in. So when you do lay it back down, no issues at all. And then that's kind of the look of the side. So very, very similar. The only difference is like I said, no grippy stuff on the bottom but the whole entire case is covered in the same grippy material. So definitely gonna get a nice grip. Looking at the bottom, you can see once again, the cutouts there. Now they both also have kind of this flattened out bottom here, if the video hopefully is gonna be able to show you, but it's just a little bit flatter. So helps a little bit when you do place it uh, face down. But like I said, cutouts are very nice here. Raise power button raised volume up and down buttons. Now they both do have a little bit more of a high gloss uh, around the buttons. And then as you can see here, a nice cutout for the alert slider. And the sheath does also have uh, the line that does go across and then on this side as well. And top down looking face on. Now the actual cutout for the speaker is a little bit as well there, just a little present, really hard to see. And I like that because it's very stealthy, so it looks good. So now just for the wobble test, let's go ahead and put the sheath down here and shaking it, no shaking going on at all face down and then going back down, no shaking on the sides until you hit that corner. So once you hit that corner, that's where the shaking starts to happen. And then real quick, let's do the clicky button test and then we'll switch over to the synthesis. So power button, very nice and responsive, very clicky. Volume up and down, very clicky as well. And then just to do it, let's go ahead and see how easy it is to get to that alert slider. Super, super duper easy as well. So big thumbs up all around for those tests and kind of the same thing, very easy to get off. Let's slap the synthesis back on real quick. Synthesis, just to tell you too, feels a little bit more rugged or stiff uh, where the synthesis still has that stiffness but kind of has a little bit more of a flex to it as well this is a little bit stiffer um, but now let's go ahead and do the same test so we'll do face down no shaking going on at all and back down still the same shaking in that corner but you really got to push down to get it to move so with that flatter camera bump, it is going to help a little bit with wobbling. And then let's do the clicky button test real quick. So power buttons are very responsive as well. And the volume up and down buttons are responsive as well. But I will say the sheath case was a little bit clickier, but not by much. So now let's go ahead and do the MagSafe test. So let's flip it over. I'm going to reach over here and grab my MagSafe charger. And then before I do that, let's go ahead and get the alert slider to on so we can hear that sound. Slap it on. And as you can see, very easily snaps together on there very nicely. Very, very strong connection. Uh, that's one thing I will say about Kadabi's uh, MagSafe magnets are they are extremely strong. As you can see there, guys, like, I mean, I'm literally shaking this all kind of crazy and it's very forceful to get off. So that is with the synthesis case. So let's get it off real quick. Let's pop on the sheath. Turn the ringer back on and let's do the same. 
So same thing, MagSafe compatible, no problems at all. Same thing with the magnets, very, very strong. I do feel like the synthesis was a little bit harder to pull off, but once again, guys, like this is very, very snug. I can shake it all around. Eventually it fell off, as you can see there, but it's not going anywhere, guys. I mean, obviously, even if you're driving in your vehicle with a MagSafe uh, accessory, uh, like in your air vent or on your dash, it's not going anywhere. I've been using this case particularly for about three weeks now and it's not fallen once in my vehicle. So obviously I feel like the synthesis magnets are gonna be a little bit stronger since it didn't fall off like this one did, um, which is very interesting considering I thought that the MagSafe rings were a little bit thinner on the synthesis versus the sheath. So just something to point out. So there we have it guys. There is the actual cases. And I will say, I will tell you a winner, in my opinion, it's the case that I have on my phone. I love the sheath case. Um, I do love the synthesis, but I just love the sheath a little bit more. And it's mainly because it's just a minimalist look, right? Very slim, very nice in the hands, has this great texture all around. I've never had any issues with it slipping out of my hand. I just think that it feels great, has a great lip around the front. So all around, you're getting great drop protection with this case on your phone. It's tempered glass friendly, both of them are, but I just like the sheath a little bit more. But you let me know down in the comments what you think. Do you like the sheath or do you like the synthesis? So I guess like what, team sheath, team synthesis, kind of like, uh, what was that, Twilight, right? So if you're interested in buying this, go to kadabi.com. They're doing a sell right now. I think these both are on sale for around 34 bucks. So I think you're saving like six or seven bucks, um, which is well worth the money in my opinion, guys. So hit that like button if you liked the video. If you loved it, please subscribe. Ring that notification bell for up-to-date content. So be safe, God bless. We'll see you on the next one.